What's good YouTube? It's your boy back in the building today guys with a brand new vlog. I know y'all been asking for it so we're gonna give it to y'all. But also today of course is another edition of God I'm Early and that will be of course with the upcoming Jordan 7 Chambray. What's going on guys man? It's been a long time coming I know right since I've held the camera and moved like this. I know, I know, it's been a minute, man. And uh, I kind of miss that. Kind of miss bringing you guys along for the day activities instead of just showing a shoe each and every day. So for this week and maybe a couple weeks moving forward, we're gonna start vlogging some of the processes of what I be doing throughout the day, the sneaker stores I go to, and bring back the vlogging aspect to the videos. Now, maybe you don't give a damn about what I'm gonna be doing, right? Well, if that's the case, there's gonna be chapters down below where you can get straight to the shoe. There'll be a chapter that'll say sneaker or whatever it is i'll show the intro do some b-roll cuts come here where we're talking now maybe throw some more b-roll as we get to the next store get to the store and then show what's in that store talk a little bit and, and pretty much that's the format moving forward and if you don't give a damn about none of that well just click the chapter down below and it'll send you straight to the shoe that we will be talking about for the day so uh yeah the vlogs are back in action but uh yeah so we're gonna be heading down to soul play as you guys can see right here we have a whole bunch of sneakers right a whole bunch of sneakers boxes and all that i've been selling a lot of stuff bro like I say that what guys don't know maybe you haven't been on the channel in a minute your boy has a baby boy on the way baby too wild I'm a junior junior too wild Tony D too wild the third or junior Tony D too wild but he'll be a third of my name and we're gonna be getting rid of a lot of my collection you guys can go and check out two wilds closet.com I will leave a link down below in the description I got some shoes up on there I sold a couple of those last night sold about a couple more shoes today um, we're gonna be dropping all those off and I also will be going live on whatnot more than likely this Wednesday just stay tuned just check the link down below in the description I'll have a bookmark show that you can bookmark you guys can stay up to date on all that but I'm basically gonna be going live over there and I will be selling clothes shoes for very 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 low prices I sold about 50 t-shirts on the last show from sample sample samples BBC, Bape, I think it has some Supreme in there, Honored the Gift, Lifted Anchors, Chinatown Market, The Market, any dope brand, I had it for sale and I got plenty of that left to be letting go. So one man's, I won't even call it trash because it ain't trash. It's just one man's extra stuff is another man's treasure, I guess. Yeah, it sounds a little corny, but it is what it is. Just stay tuned though. We're gonna have so much more of that coming soon as I, I gotta let go of a lot of stuff because I got a whole nother baby, a whole nother person coming in very, very soon. So enjoy the prices for what they are and hop on an ASAP Rocky. But with all that being said, let's get down to Soul Play. All right, y'all, we down at the home base, man. Got my brother Terrence in the mall building, man. Y'all know what it is, man. He laying out some new product, some new Balabasas, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully this should be on the site or it should be pretty soon, but a lot of the stuff now that's in store is now available on site. That's been one of the biggest pushes. So make sure you guys and girls go and check out soulplayatl.com. Um, you know, from the dunks. I think there's maybe a few more of these left. Everything you pretty much see here is available now on site and it will continue to be like that. And they have a huge sales section as well of markdowns like these right here that are going for currently, I believe around $100, I think, or something like that. They're 100, 120, go ahead and check it out. So there's tons of markdowns all throughout the site. So hop on that ASAP Rocky. And then also, of course, you know, the hats. They got some new ones in recently that I picked up, but buy five, you get five for uh, free, or buy two and get one free. That's available in store as well as online. And I think today I'm gonna be picking up this Barney one, man. Cause this is actually a Barney, this is actually the Barney one. Yeah, I need seven and five eights. I'm picking this one up today. I love you, you love me, you feel me? I don't see that five eight, but it's something. There you go. I don't think this one's actually on the site, but I'm gonna get it on the site by the time this video drops. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push. This should be on the site. If it is, I will link it down below in the description. If you don't see it down below in the description, then it's not there, but this one should be. A few sizes of these, still at, you know, at Lawrenceville location. Wait, wait, this is, wait, this is. Oh, it's no, GS, it's, I'm no, looking at that no, price. That's right. Oh, that's the actual mint? What's this, seven? No, that, that's nah, that's, 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 that's gay school. That's, that's seven and a half. No, that's seven and a half. Oh, that's men's? Yeah, swap that. Okay, man. Boy, I'm about to, I'm about to say yeah, that. I thought he was kid, man. I don't care, man. Swap that. Swap that. Yeah, I'm about to lay. Let me, uh, let me, let me return and rebuy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
Okay, well that was a mistake, but yeah, they available. I don't know if these are online though. I think this is just the in-store pair. I think they completely sold out online, so you can check, but you know, yeah. Also, ladies and, and men, men bring your ladies up here because in-store at Lawrenceville, the whole entire women's section, all this is 50% off. All this Jordan wear, this workout wear, I'm about to tell Nikki about this. I mean, I know she's she pregnant, so she might not be able to fit all this now, but we might have to make some investments for later on. But all this, as you see, all this Jordan, honor the gift, 50% off, 50% off, all this Jordan wear as well, 50% off. I mean, look, $200, $100, easy. You got uh, honor the gift over here. You know, you got some Subi over there. Also, like I said, all 100, I mean, I have to say 100% off, 50% off on all that. And then this rack right here, I wish, ladies, I wish they gave us this deal. Tons of stuff. So come to come to Lawrenceville, everything you see, 50, 50% 50 off. And then over here for the for the fellas, this whole thing, 60, right? This whole entire, both left and right, 60% off. Left and right. So you got Jordan, you got Nike, you got uh, raw, is that raw? Like, G, is that G Star? Yeah, G Star. Offline, you got tons. I think that's Subi. All this stuff, Nike. All this stuff. Jumpman, sixty percent off, bro. Yeah, it's you can't get no better than that, man. I didn't even know all this. Today. They just told me this right now, and I haven't been doing the online, you know, the vlogs for a minute, so I haven't been able to share it. But my plan too, and I told them is to try to get all this stuff online so that we can also push it the fifty percent off via online. And this is thirty, right? This actually we're gonna go. Uh, 40. 40. Look at this, man. Come on now, man. Nike. Look at this, man. Come on, y'all. Get up in here and grab it, man. Get up here and grab it, man. Well, actually, I'm gonna I'm come up here and I'm gonna just do a whole video splurging because honestly, I'm selling all my old, like, I'm wiping my, my thing, my like my whole entire wardrobe. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video here. We're gonna just drop a whole new wardrobe. Come up here, buy all this for like 50%. Cause some of this is Subi, all that. It's like probably a lot of like one size is left, but it's good enough for me. I'm gonna pick this one up yes, and uh, we good to go. So let's get it. All right, y'all, so we at G1's right now. It's been a minute since I've been up here. I had to come show some support to my brother, man. He's always looked out for me on prices, and he's bought things for good prices. Buy and sell, and if it's definitely a spot, if you want to come get some vintage wear, some nice street wear, all the above, he sells it all, man. He got, you know, the OG from Tupac. He got uh, Kiss, one of the biggest pieces in here, in my opinion that's been sitting up here for some quite some time. And I even talked to him about, you know, potentially doing a whatnot together um, on some stuff. He got the Jordans, you know, the Jordans are on deck, the Dunks, Nikes, the Yeezy Slides, the New Balances, which I'm gonna probably look and see if there's anything in my size, you feel me? There's this one, this one's kinda whew, strong though. I'm not that strong on New Balance yet to be dropping that much money though, but we are gonna look at it. MC Hammer, he got a lot of, I gotta go through here probably on the camera and pick some pieces up because it's hard to have my hands free. A couple of these I'm actually just curious, curious about. Oh, this one too, this black one. That one's nice, how much? Uh, this? The black one. Black one? Yeah. This one's at yeah. 180, it's a size small though. Let me see it real quick. It does look small, but I, I might just wanna see. This is nice, this is nice. I actually bought you on the hat from you. Which one? It was this hat. You oh, had the it. exact I, same one? Yeah, you, you yeah. sold it. I maybe you even gave it to me for the free or something. I don't, yeah, you had the same exact hat. Yeah, those Atlanta hats. So it was a black one, just the same exact. This doesn't look super small, but it's like, it could fit me though, I could tell. It just might not be, I mean, it's not bad. Like a crop look. Yeah, exactly. It actually looks kind of good. Yeah, I know. Not bad. What pants are those? Those are nice. These are my, it's a sample. That's yours? Yeah, yeah. If you want some, nice. I can get you some personal in. Ever in store if you ever want some stuff, yeah. I'm gonna grab this, bro. I gotta see if I still got the hat. I think I do, bro. If I do, I'll take a picture. I, I had it, but I wasn't wearing it. But now, bro, I could be stupid with it. I'm grabbing this. Yeah, I gotta grab this, y'all. This is all embroidered. This is this is sick. I'm grabbing this ASAP. Yeah, PSP on deck. Yeah, that one has a battery in it. Yeah, it has a battery. So I'm looking at the New Balances, this protection pack, 260. I definitely want to get a pair of these, but not just the black. Maybe it's orange or a different color. I think it's the JJ Down, whatever the JJ, yeah. 
It's 180, so it's not a bad. This is not a bad color, but it's definitely got some wear in it. G1, what's the address once again? Uh, 2628 Pleasant Hill Road, Suite 200, Duluth, Georgia, 30096. And I'm going to try to get my video out before Harrison. Harrison apparently pulled up with last week, though? Uh, no, or, like two days ago. Oh, two days, so, so it probably is going to take... Probably get it. He, yeah, he might... He gonna, I, feel like he, I feel like that's like a Thursday video for him or something. I'm going to find out. I'm going to try to drop mine before him. This should probably drop tomorrow, actually, so you're watching it. Today's Monday. Y'all should see this on Tuesday. So we're going to be, you know, head back. We're going to check out those uh, Jordan 7 Chambres and uh, picking this bad boy up right now, man. 180. He's probably gonna give me a, a little deal, you know what I'm saying? Huh? Got you. All right, he got me. He got you. Pull up. Let him know Tony sent you. He uh, you're not buying right now though, right? The sign says it. Trading. Just trading. Yeah. yeah, he got he got enough inventory and he gets enough inventory, so he knows how to get all the ATL stuff already. So you know you can't go wrong. But yeah, we out. All right, y'all. So we finally made it back to the crib, and I wanted to show some of the pieces that we picked up. Of course, these will be available now on SoulPlayATL.com. So make sure you guys and girls check that out ASAP Rocky. These will be available on the site, and you guys can get these right now. As I stated, buy two get one free, or buy five and get five free. Basically, ten hats for two fifty. Three hats, I want to say, for close to $100. You can't really beat that. This one in particular is a seven and five eighths. Fits me perfectly, but I'm going to definitely, you know, uh, bend that brim a little bit. Give that, give that brim a little bend on it. You feel what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But this is the Barney pack. New Era Barney movie pack is the name specifically for this one to be, of course, for the Brooklyn Dodgers. And uh, hopefully I'm, I think this is the Brooklyn Dodgers old school collection. And this one is made, this one's made in China with the white, white inside, green under brim. Check it out. I know how you guys are very detailed when it comes to this all-star game, 1999. And this is in Boston. Oh, this is the Boston, uh, okay. Correction, I thought this was the Brooklyn Dodgers, this was the Boston Red Sox. Bruh, I'm happy I uh, called that beforehand. The B does kind of conflict me with the Brooklyn Dodgers, Boston Red Sox, yeah, it, it gets me sometimes. Next up, we got from the guy, G1. Salutes to him, G1 wants clothes. I will put his Instagram also in the description if you wanna check him out, if you're ever in Atlanta. I mean, this thing is beautiful. It definitely, you know, was a little pricey, but it's a one of a piece kind that I'm willing to spend some money on to hold on to for a minute i really think that i might have let go the hat bro i'm gonna check after this video because i had the hat to match and i was so impatient with it that if i would have kept it i would have had the perfect top and bottom fit well top and top fit but you get my picture man the back everything's fully embroidered starter jacket it's it, it, it's a size small but back in the day bro small and everything was just very oversized so like it's really not small like i'm just chilling bro like it's kind of short and cropped but i don't have no issue with that you feel me i don't plan on wearing it like this but if it does get cold outside your boy need to you know if he need to do what he gotta do he can he can do what he gotta do my bad, my mic might be messing up. He could do what he gotta do, you feel me? He could do what he gotta do. So, so loose to G1, he gave me a little good price. It was 180, he dropped it down for 140 and I can respect that for, for something like that. I can, I can respect that. And then we got, of course, today, the Jordan 7 Chambray. Now, we're gonna get this review out to you guys as soon as possible because it's coming out this Saturday, like, I'm, I'm late. Bruh, the, the early reviews that everybody's out here doing, all these reviews on these products, it's getting earlier and earlier. You know, I'm not early no more, but it's all good, you know why? And it's not to throw shot when I say this, but I don't need to be first. I just need to be the best at what I can do at least. You know what I'm saying? When you see what the products I'm showing, you guys know it's legitimate. It's coming from an official retailer and it's not to say everybody out there is showing early stuff. It's not showing real stuff, but I try to make sure that I'm showing you the legitimate stuff and I'd rather show you the legitimate stuff than go and get something stupid early and take the risk that it's probably not even real. You feel me? So it is what it is. The box though, Air Jordan 7, black chambray, light graphite, eight and a half with the women's 10 on there. These are gonna be retailing for uh, $200. And you saw that box. Remember I told y'all last time that on that box we got previously for the Jordan 7 white infrared, I had stated that I thought they used the box because it was a Jordan 6 colorway on a Jordan 7 shoe, but the Jordan 7 Chambray is also featuring the same type of box, which is slightly different because previously 7s used to be in the typical black and white or black or that black and gold Jordan box. 6s was in that, 5s was in that, Fours was in its own box, three was in its own box, twos or 
hasn't really been coming out, but now they have their own box. One's have their own box. So we got one's got their own box, two's got their own box, three's got their own box, four's got their own box, fives, sixes, and now sevens share a box. Eights, we don't know yet what they're gonna do. Maybe they're gonna have this box. Maybe they have the typical black Jordan box. Like, do I even have any black Jordan boxes? I don't even think they do that anymore, technically. I don't remember like the, the regular typical black and white or black and gold Jordan boxes. We don't really see that anymore. The nines, they would've been in that same box. Tens in that same same box, maybe even in that brown and red box that the 11s feature in and 12s feature in. So we'll just have to wait and see. But the Jordan 7 Chambray, can I tell you right off the rip, one thing that I'm noticing about this shoe that I like a lot is the material. This suede brings back some memories. This suede feels a lot like the suede that I remember at least of the Jordan 5 Black Grape. However, it's not as ashy. It's a very different suede that we've seen on a Jordan in a very, very, very long time. Also, the paint job on this shoe is A1 steak sauce. Like they not really messed up really anywhere. I don't see any issues with the paint on here whatsoever. I was not a humongous Jordan 7 Chambray fan. They released back in 2006. I was a freshman in high school and I didn't have the money, but this colorway looking at it now as like almost looking at it as a new type of sneaker to me almost. I like this shoe, bro. I really like what Jordan brand did here, even though it's a retro, but I like the material that was used and the quality of this shoe that this may be a contender worth keeping. I have a couple of sevens in the collection. We got the citruses. I don't think they're even up there right now, but the citrus sevens, the cardinal sevens, the Olympic sevens, which I'm looking for them to bring a new one out. Raptor sevens, which I might be getting rid of. So, uh, you know, definitely something worth looking at down the pipeline. This is a very nice, well built shoe. The material, I mean, you could see the suede effect. It's, um, it's good, bro. It's a very, very nice material used. It's not fluffy suede. I can can say that this is a suede over a new book the way it feels and the way it looks it has a very discreet type of look to it that makes me feel at least that this is a potentially a suede over a new book but let me just confirm so from what sneakers is saying a premium leather with a velvet finish that's a uh, it's kind of hard to distinguish what that is i'm going to say that i think it's potentially a suede and i even remember that suede has that velvet type of texture to it call it what it want we'll find out more we're going to drop a review more than likely on this thing tomorrow so stay tuned full in-depth review i wanted to give you guys something that you've been asking for and uh we're going to give you some more like we're going to be doing more vlogs i want to go pull up on my other friends my other shops out there so stay tuned for that and uh we'll see you guys on the next video i'm out peace